Uh, green interwebs. It's Jackie K. Normally I wouldn't do this sort of thing until I was specifically streaming, but uh I have my reasons. And I think of like it'll give me a chance to catch up with the PvP people, cause usually all that stream VOD stuff is a couple months backlog, especially with how many battles I have recorded. But I wanted to showcase me reaching level 44, and if I could pull it up properly, I'm only a few ultra-league battle victories away from hitting, from getting 30 trainer battles and hitting level 44. It's always fun to like document these sort of milestones, especially when, especially when I get them in the middle of battling. Like I was gonna be like wrong because I don't think I've even uploaded. This thing, level 43, I forget it was level 43 or 42, where I did some battling to try to get up to the following level, and then I just ended up having to battle gym trainers because I was still a few, even after a full set, I was a few super effective hits short. But it also wanted to give me a good opportunity to showcase the Ultra League team I got going on here. I just put it together today with the start of a new season, and while there's a lot of familiar faces, I don't think I ever use these three Pokemon together, and I'll take it an excuse to use a fly gun. I don't get to use them often enough. Is it? <laughs> Granted, I was gonna say, there actually has been a few situations where it's set me where Flygon has come in clutch, but it's mostly like my the other two team members pulling more than their fair share of weight to set things up for Flygon, which I guess still counts. But I will acknowledge that like Flygon is not as meta as the other two on here. Let's just pretend that's one of my mini Saharas, because I just realized I forgot to nickname this one for Ultra League. And I know like I already did one battle off on my own, but I wasn't a hundred percent sure if this would be the set. But I got a good thing going on here, so I get the feeling this will be the set. And if the video is too short, I'll just do one extra battle. While I have this recording going. Hmm, Weevil. Nah. Obviously, like the Typhlosion would have been a better lead, but it's not the worst. Especially with just like how quickly I'm going through here. Um, I could probably take a hit. I probably won't take it as well as I want, but it is a hit I can take. Ex I, you know, to be honest, I was expecting like the ice attack to come through. I don't know why he wants a nice dark type and just have access to that. But I mean, like, that's about as much as I thought I would take from the ice. So I don't mind playing this game. And on the tangent of the game of Pokemon Go, I wanted to talk a little bit about a story and a complication I've had in my mind. I was just, like, catching the Pokemon on the field while setting up the recording and making sure that the audio levels were good. There's a couple of Eevee, so I got thinking about like Eevee Community Day from way back and Flower Crown Eevee events and things like that. Mostly, I want a shiny Flower Crown Eevee, but I just can't seem to get one no matter how many, much they pop up. Honestly, like, I didn't, like I, probably because they were just exclusive to field research and that, I didn't really feel like I was finding them too often. But then again, they did come back for something a little bit more significant. Even then, it didn't really feel like I was finding them that often. Or, I was finding them often, but I wasn't getting the shiny luck. Which, I mean, is fair. And it kind of reminded me, like, how after all that, of all things during a shelter spotlight hour, I just happened to click on an Eevee that was in the same area. And, what did you know? It was a shiny. Crazy, I know. But it kind of got me thinking <laughs> just what I didn't have, rather than what I did. And man, I would have loved to get a shiny flower crown Eevee. I just don't know how they get it, because it's like something they're only doing for events. But it feels like they recycled flower crown Eevee so many times as is, that I just don't think we're going to get it to come back anytime soon. And it's like, it is an event Pokemon, so it should be special. No, oh, man, I kind of play bad. I'll admit, I thought I could get up to the solar beam and take out the Swampert, letting Flygon be able to carry us, finish up the rest of the team just nicely. 
but I think I like overestimated just how quickly I could get to that solar beam. Well, it's a bit of a shame, but I mean, we'll still at least have a few more battles to go. Of course, as soon as I put the record button on, that's when my team starts sucking. Grant, like the very last battle of the previous set, I did lose, so it's not like this team's invincible. I'd be surprised if I was winning everything with Fly got on a team, but hopefully we can do a little better in this next batch, for the next battle, and turn things around. Back on my story, I guess it's almost over, like, the only thing I wanted to add was, what's a good ratio, like, how often can we bring back something where it doesn't feel like it loses, where people can get it, but it doesn't feel like it's losing next accessibility. It's almost like a yin and a yang. You can't like make things accessible without taking away the exclusivity and to some degree the specialness of it. So when is it too much one way and not enough the other way? And that is just what I've been complicating over all that. Let me see how this pans out and see if you guys are going on. I'm making a decent work out of the Toga Kiss. I almost took it out just for charming, which kind of stinks because I feel like they got like an ancient power ready as soon as I come in. There it is. I'm gonna block, but the worst part is I'm gonna block and it's not gonna be ancient power. Flamethrower seems kind of weird, because I think like that takes more energy than the ancient power. So it's not really even like something we want to do for baiting purposes. Do we want to go for the Hail Mary and just like try to go for a solar beam right away? It is tempting. Alright, I got always a shield here, which stinks. Now I'm gonna try something a little different, see if I can like get some a shield or two away from this Swampert. And then just bring in the solar beam at the end of the battle. Has a little bit of a Hail Mary. Kind of hoping that I can, like, get the Swampert out of here, have them forget about it for a little bit. But they seem perfectly content just Hydro Cannon spamming my Flygon in comparison to the other Pokemon. <laughs> well, at least I got the Earth. I would say I got the Earthquake right before going down, but of course, when I don't want to go for the Dragon Claw, it recognizes that, oh hey, he hit Dragon Claw first. And actually, oh, it did it again. To be fair, the game's in the race thing, I did hit Solar Beam before hitting Blast Burn, but I hit it before I fought through, and it's like, like, even Blast Burn still would have taken out of that range. Oh, that's a, a good game's a good game. There's a little... It is a little disappointing that I haven't really, like, showcased the team on a good note. But I d did win four battles in the last set, so it did kind of bump up my rating a little bit. And I'm not, like, even claiming this team's great or anything. It just was working real well, and I was looking forward to having some fun with Flygon. Um, I don't know. It's, I can't quite tell if this is a good lead or not. I'm kind of wondering if I should... It'd be worthwhile like swapping Typhlosion at the top because that's like this is the second battle of the set. I'm thinking like, hmm, I would have loved to catch this with my Typhlosion as the lead. Well, I the reason I'm going hmm so much with this though is I don't know I don't remember who does well in this matchup, and I am neutral to all the moves like flag. Gyarados' dual typing cancels out both of the weaknesses it would have otherwise had against Obama Snow. It's still taking a decent amount of damage. I'll shield just in case he decided to go for the energy ball, because I think even Water Ball would still put me in a rather dangerous range. And also, it's like it's kind of in the range where it could go down to Aqua Tail, anyways. So, I, at least I can get a shield before going down. Maybe they'll even let me take the Pokemon instead. Nah, I kind of figured. Yeah, so close yet so far. I mean, we're at least even in shields. Of course, I would have loved to have the advantage in the situation, but even nice shields is better than nothing. Is it low enough in health that I could range it down with 
but I got maybe, but I'm too worried about the number of powder snows I would take in the process. And here comes Polyrath. You know what? Maybe I can, like, oh shoot, I pressed <laughs> a little too soon. I was gonna try to bait out the last shield here by saving up for the solar beam. So, like, they're. Yeah, I could tell that they count. Because otherwise, I would assume that was close enough to actually work. You know, unfortunately, I hate to, but I'm gonna use my last shield here because I feel as though they're pretty frail, and I got worn down quite a bit. And at least I can get the last shield now. I would much rather take the polygraph in the process, but I kind of doubt that they'll let me get away with that. Yep. You know what I mean? Here is something I can try. It's not gonna work because I, I can already tell that the other move that this polygraph has is gonna be Ice Punch. But I was just thinking, like, if I could, like, save some type of illusion help for a little later on. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I was comfortable with the help range that the help was at. So I was trying to get just a tiny bit extra energy to take on to the last Pokemon. Before... Hmm... <laughs> Ew. That is... That is so close, it's frustrating. Like, the only saving grace is, like, I don't have to worry about taking... King charge move damage. Oh, Chandler. And I don't. Yeah, I think Chandler is a frail enough boy that this will work. Super effective damage with the quick, fast move. And even though this is gonna be resisted, it should have still hurt. Maybe I can even take it out before it gets to a charge move with that range. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's how my victories usually go with this team. It's kind of just like a hmm situation where like. Like, I wasn't going up against the most meta teams, but I was kind of impressed by the types of Pokemon that this team was able to overcome the obstacles of. And on a tangent of overcoming, tangenting from that until... I'm gonna just tangent into what I'm doing later. I was gonna talk a little bit about, like, Overseer of the Elements. Hmm. Hold on to that thought. I want to see how this plays out. Shell Dragon Knight versus Gyarados. I am neutral... Yeah, I kind of had a feeling that I would force a swap eventually. I just don't know which of my Pokemon here would be the best Snorlax counter. I guess I'll go into the Flycon, because unfortunately, like, unless I, I don't know the rest of the team, right now Flycon does seem the most expendable. But more so, like, I can at least maybe bait a shield or two with this Dragon Claw Earthquake combination. It's early on, so they may not shield this first one, assuming that I'm the set that uses, like, Sand Tomb or something. But maybe if I can do that twice, I can get a shield. Yeah, I'm gonna risk it being another body slam. Because if I can take my shields for the other two Pokemon, and more importantly, when I have a better idea what the rest of the team has, that would work out well for me. But it feels like it's been a long time. I mean, I guess I uploaded Game Shield not too long ago, but the majority of that was recorded in the front of the year. So I guess it's... Some time has passed. And I'm kind of... Kind of had, had like a lot of mixed thoughts about the way the world is currently. I won't go too into that, but... I kind of suspect that might be ha part of the reason why it's been so hard for me to be productive. Because this is like the first thing I've recorded outside of a stream. And... Even w with streaming, like one, I only got back... I took... I had to take a week off and only just got back into it this week. To, I kind of feel like I've been struggling a little bit to try to commentate while streaming. It's, it's going okay right now, but like the more I think about it, the more I kind of like second doubt myself and all that. Yeah, I'm a champ on the team is a little sad because, like, honestly, Flygon actually would be better for the champ because I resist the Rock Slide. Meanwhile, the other two Pokemon I have on here are both weak to Rock Slide. I think I can balance that out by the fact that I saved my shield. So I can double shield my way through this if I really need to. Yeah, I'll shield first time. Make sure, like... Yeah, I had to realize the debate was a possibility, but... This way, even if they want to go for a rock slide this time, I've at least worn it down enough with my fast moves that Typhlosion can come in here and finish it off.
Inter you know, I, it's sad, but I just caught on to their strategy. They're trying to wear down my Gyarados as much as they could, so like they could finish things off with the Shadow Dragonite. I think Typhlosion can be okay. I mean, I'll use a shield here if I have to, because like all this energy, I'm, if I don't use a charge move, all the energy I get for the last Pokemon will be well worth it. A little risky of a play to like. I'm kind of playing with fire with a Shadow Dragonite, but I mean, this is <laughs> a fire Pokemon, so if anyone's going to be playing with fire, Timber's a good option. Timber does high flows and all. And hey, I, you know what? That's the second. That's the second win. I think we're actually ready to hit level 45, which is great. You know why it's great? Cause like there's been so much stuff going on with Team Rocket lately, and I haven't been able to capitalize on it. Cause it's the next level afterwards, and that's a whole set too. Um, oh, this is actually a nice Pokemon to get. Cause, ooh, and ten panel medals. Oh, this that's probably like the next thing I need for level 45. This should count as a bunch of Stardust. Speaking of Rockets and Shelter, a little bit of a tangent, but I noticed. When like battling against rockets that had shadow shelters and shadow cloisters, you don't get the thousand and however much cloister gives you out of it. And that honestly just stinks. I kind of get it because like the rockets are a little bit more fixated than the wild spawns. But I can't, I still can't help but feel a little chipped off by it. There we go though. <laughs> right on to change the songs too. Level 44, got a whole bunch of nice rewards, and if I'm not mistaken, here we go, defeating 100 Team Goal Rocket Grunts, purify 100 Shadow Pokemon, defeat a Team Goal Rocket Leader 50 times. Now I don't have to really feel like I have to hold back when it comes to Team Rocket stuff. I've been a little bit more, I've been battling them a bit more lately because I'm still working on the special research for level 43, and I have a few rocket grunts still to go. But now I definitely like have no reason not to fight the leaders, have even more reason to go after the grunts when I am able to go out and walk. I just wanted to knock that out because there's a lot I was looking forward to with this. It's, this also came in just in time to like help clear out my Pokemon storage because I've been holding on to so many Pokemon that I just want to purify. Because a lot of them are like, they don't, they're the ones that only cost a thousand to purify. And it's, I'm looking forward to it from that. Now, I was tipping the end off here, but I did like say that the video was too short. I do one more battle just to make up for the fact that it's technically a four. I technically skipped sharing one of the battles to set with all of you guys and gals. Now, I'm sorry if I like, I know one's called me out about it, so I wasn't too worried, but I, re I really should like work on it. The whole concept of just, I grew up like with guys being a general neutral term, but I've seen people make some good points about just like trying to say more, trying to like not use that as an excuse not to be a little more inclusive. Yeah, I don't think anyone's too worried about it, but a good person tries to like improve themselves with before they get told what to do. I don't know, I, even saying it like that seems a little condescending, but I think you all know what I mean. Like, there's other words that exist, so there's not really a reason besides force of habit not to use them. Oh yeah, I don't think I said. I kind of interrupted along the way, but yeah, that did come in just in time because now I'll actually be able to purify all those Pokemon before the spotlight hour tomorrow and transfer them. I mind, I don't think there's really like anything I needed candy for all of this spotlight hour set, but it is a good time to just like get, clean out some storage. So I'm glad I got it done. Eh, I feel like I'm playing with fire here. Dragon versus Dragon, but it also probably be nice to like save Typhlosion for the other Pokemon when it comes back in. Hey, it's kind of fun to like fight off with our Green Dragons. Of course, his Dragon Superior. I kind of 
screw that up with trying to save with a little energy, but I should have just like gone all out for it while I have the opportunity. I mean, at least I have the shield advantage, but I kind of wasted a whole Pokemon for it. So I don't know if it really made out better. It's kind of like gonna have to time this in a way to. Yeah, there's no way I'm winning this, but I'm gonna try. If I can like conserve some health and like take this Dragonite out right before it goes for another charge move. Or better yet, just right before I'm about to overcharge in energy. I could probably like take this health into the last Pokemon accordingly. Oof. Eh, I mean like it's a valiant in that temp. I don't think it quite worked out. Anyways, I mean like at least I don't know, I don't feel completely in it yet. But I am still glad I did, but that's kind of just been the theme of how things have been going lately, like, the concept of, I'm happy that I'm doing things like recording and streaming, but I don't feel like I'm doing a good job with it, like, I feel like I'm rusty. I feel like, like, I can't, can't get quite up to the levels that I feel confident in, like, the levels that I consider good in the past. But I feel like the only way I'm going to get up to that point is I just keep doing and get back in the swing of things. I guess I can't be too hard on myself because like streaming by yourself is a little different than recording because I mean of course you can cut around with recording. This is a bad example because I'm just going all at once and all that. But I'm also going for longer periods of time without break. And when on days when there's not like too much chatter going on in the chat. I guess that can make it hard to keep going on where it's kind of like constantly coming up with conversation topics without anyone to bounce off on. And I guess it's hard not to be a little hard on myself on that because I have done it a lot in the olden days. But again, let's play is a little bit different of an environment than streaming I suppose. Especially when you don't, when you're just going in with the swing of things and not having things prepared. But here I am like rambling about how I have nothing to talk about. Honestly, I ramble so much, I decided to throw another battle in at the end of all this. Since the rest of the commentary is just me explaining stuff with upload schedules and that, I think I can explain it a lot more condensedly if I do it in post. First of all, I want to encourage you all to go to my site to see the upload schedule and all that. Right on the homepage, you might have to scroll a little bit. But it should have like a list of all the videos that are being uploaded or are prepared to be uploaded in a single month. And while I've been pretty consistent with the concept of like every Monday and Friday it's going to be some sort of GBL thing and Tuesday and Thursday are playthrough stuff and Sundays are podcasts when I get around to making them. The upload schedule can give you a little more detail about exactly what's going on. Like I, if I know in advance the type of set I'm going to upload I'll usually include it as a note in the schedule. Perfect examples like a perfect example is this coming Friday and the following Monday I have a catch cup battle scheduled while there's a standard GBL Great League video going up the Friday following that. And you can see all that and more on the upload schedule for the site. And some other things I want to talk about just involve things I've been pondering with how I upload GBL stuff. Because I practically take everything that I stream and save it into a backlog of possible videos I can upload, I have quite a diversity of stuff to upload. Like, there's still stuff from the Master League New Year's Eve stuff that has yet to go up. And trying to find a blend between keeping some of the new stuff, especially when there's a new exciting meta to share going up on the YouTube audience, while not just having all the backlog. I currently have just going to waste. Finding that balance has been a little bit of a struggle for me and I just basically spend the rest of this commentary pondering exactly how I want to handle that. Just to emphasize my point, I still have videos all the way back from season 4 that I never uploaded. Though at this point they're so old that I feel like I have to do something like either like make visualize the thumbnail in a way to specify that they're old GBL stuff if I ever want to upload them. The good news model that is if I have a rainy day, 
for some reason can't record for a long period of time, at least I can upload something. But as you may be able to tell from like weeks where I had to take breaks off from content, it's not that I don't have videos to share. It's a matter of putting the time aside in between everything else in my life that I'm struggling to update all the video information stuff. Specifically like the description and the thumbnails and setting things up in the playlist. And honestly I should get in the habit of having all my GBL videos with custom thumbnails. But that's... Everything else you could argue doesn't take much time at all. The thumbnail thing actually can take a bit of time. So I've just been in the habit of like doing it when I just randomly feel up to it. And when I do feel up to it, try to do as large of a batch as I can of thumbnails at once. But alas, I got on a tangent, even in post. The whole point of bringing all this up is I kind of want to get some feedback from the community of how they actually would want to see things, because right now there's not as much order to the man as I would like. I'm, it does seem a little all over the place, mostly because I'm just trying to keep things diverse. If I have like multiple metas and multiple cups to upload, I, I assume for the sake of diversity, it would make more sense to just not upload it in the order that I record it in. Like, I enjoy the Specialized Cup so much that when I live stream, I usually live stream a lot of it. And even if I only do one live stream before the cup usually changes, I usually take some time off stream to record a couple more just to make sure I make the most out of the meta while I'm still around. So, I bring it up because, in theory, especially after the season when we get both a brand new cup and the Canto Cup, I kind of wonder if I could actually carry the entire GBL content on this channel without even touching Bray Ultra and Master. It definitely would seem fun to me, and I feel like my type of audience would enjoy the diversity. But then again, like I'm just speculating what the audience thinks, which is why I wouldn't mind getting feedback and all that. Again though, I wouldn't want just the stuff I do record of standard great Ultra Masters to go completely to waste. So I've also been pondering, like, actually starting to dedicate one day of the week for Special Cups and the other day of the week for the more Standard Cup stuff. I mean, if I'm gonna upload only two GBL stuff, I mean, I have made exceptions like <laughs> this video you're seeing here and some past other times when there was a Specialized Cup that was just released and I'm just so excited to get it out. So right now, I'm leaning towards just leaving the uploads the way they are, at least for everything that's scheduled. And maybe once we get past that upload schedule, start adapting a system where we alternate between Specialized Cup Backlog and the standard Great Ultra Master League Backlog. The most major exception I can think of is when a Specialized Cup comes around. Usually I'm so excited to play those, that I usually record or live stream right away. And even if I only get a chance to live stream once while that meta is around. If I really only like a meta, and usually if it's a specialized cup I do, I'll probably like at least record a couple videos off on my own time. Just to assure that I have a large enough backlog to spread that particular meta out in the diversity of all the other specialized cup metas that I've recorded. In a perfect world, I get that stuff out the day that the Specialized Meta has been released. But since I actually have to juggle it with my own life outside of the internet, I think a fair compromise is if it's on if it starts on a Monday and I live stream on that Monday, then the make an exception and upload an extra GBL video on the Wednesday, and then do that Meta again on Friday, and again on the Monday and then like return to the normal alternating schedule. Maybe I'll like stick one day with special and one day with standard GBL. It's all stuff I can play around with. Nothing's finalized quite yet. Plus I love to hear feedback from the community, especially those that watch my videos, of what they like to see from the GBL content I do. Now I think I've almost gone for the whole length of two sets at this point. Especially while this team's playing good. I've been Jackie K, 
Thank you all for tuning in for some more GBL goodness. And I'll see you for some more battles. Probably Friday if I get this up on time. Take care. <laughs>